So hello again everybody and welcome to another video here, um, it's another art and animation video. I don't know exactly how long it's going to be but it's going to be a very a simple one, straight to the point. Okay, I'm not playing any music or anything in this and I'm not going to be doing anything amazing, we're just going to see what comes of it. Okay, um, in my uh, earlier on today, earlier on today I was actually working on a lot of like basic sketches and stuff, you know. Um, I'll show you a couple here in my new collection. These are some pictures. I'm going to feature these in a the video as well. Okay, so there's a few different pictures I've been doing there, rough practice ones of some characters using like stick figures, you see, again, and positioning them, okay, to like draw uh, over them and do characters. These are just rough, rough sketches. I've also been trying to practice some backgrounds, doing them in different, different, different ways. Uh, here we are, more character sketches again. Uh, I did this earlier on, working from uh, my own perspective here. I, I just set up like a grid, literally just sketched a couple of couple of grids down, and I drew on top of them to create things. This is the second one I did, and the first one I did had colour, as I say. So it's uh, this one. I did this one. Okay. So um, you know, it's just me practicing my perspective uh, sketching and drawing okay uh, as well as the, the um, character positions as well so I'm just working on everything basically behind the scenes <coughs> different kinds of random backgrounds and stuff or practice ones again another scribble type sketch I, I turned into a ninja okay <coughs> it's a better <coughs> kind of better different version <coughs> I did of that um, those buildings. Please excuse me. Got a bad little bit of phlegm there. I'm okay. <laughs> we all get a bit a bit, bit um, groggy sometimes, right? So yeah, you can see how I'm working with the clouds and I added some trees in and stuff. Okay. Again, more characters. Okay, just working with the stick figures. Working with those. Got a few different ones there. Okay, another building scene, a bit more simple this time, but um, nevertheless, some detail in it, you know. More clouds, practicing the clouds and stuff. A uh, couple of women. <laughs> then more here. And then the car one, as I showed you the cars, as I say. Um, you know, so I'm just working it out as I go along, really. You know. and there we go so that's that, and that. okay uh, now in this uh, video what I'm going to do is, oh before I move on I'll show you some more as well some more sketches you may have seen these in another video just working doing backgrounds in different ways this one this one I re I'm really happy with this one I put some details it's rough but I could I could do much better ones you know I made this um, this this this, this, this one as well. All of these, you know. This one, a bit of spooky. I feel this one's kind of like an old, crazy old horror movie or something. It looks like. <laughs> looks a bit realistic, I feel. This one. Simple but realistic. This one, I really love this one I did. I've really worked hard on this one. Uh, and this, and there's another version as well I'm going to show you in a moment. Yeah, here, and this. Yeah, this is the other version, as I say, this one. So, um, it just comes straight from my mind. Just, I don't have it always pre-planned in my mind when I do a scene. Like, these are practice scenes, as I say, with the like, character poses and um, backgrounds. I just literally just start drawing, sketching. And one thing leads to the next. I add colours and, and just, just make it from my mind, just as I go imagination you know so there, there's some uh, stuff there okay um, there's another folder with some I showed before uh, in another video let's go through those really quickly but there's quite a lot of ones there. I'm not going to go through that one right now there's quite a lot there but you know you've seen ones like other images and stuff I've shown you before, before. this one with the character posed positions of the same stuff like that you know are various ones um, 
I was happy with. This one uh, is a scene here. Yeah, uh, this one you may have seen on my um, webs on my channel. Not this one. <laughs> this one. God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, some of these you may have seen before. Um, so yeah. But um, okay, so I'm, I'm not going to waste too much time now. I'm going to move on. Here's the Christmas one I did for Christmas again. That painting I did for Christmas. You know, just paused. Um, you know, various character sketches and stuff I've done. You know. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to start now. Okay, I'm just going to start to work on some more different things. I've, I've been working with stick figures and stuff recently trying to like, I call them stick figures I'm, I'll show you a couple of things. First of all I'll do a line I'll do a line very quickly and I will literally do a line or to make it a line, like an actual straight line like that be better if it was black wouldn't it, so let's do a black one okay, to represent the ground, make it a bit faint and then I'll go here Zoom in, zoom in here, and I'll um, show you a couple of basic uh, stick figures. I'll show you a couple of ways that I um, do characters again. Okay, one way is like this. I will literally have, like, I do this. I do a head, a circle, that like, type of shape for a head, just like a shape. You know, I'm just gonna make it like an average, just a basic character. I'm not necessarily making it a woman, a woman or a man or a man or a woman. Just doing a basic thing. And what I'll do is I'll do like a couple of circles like balls basically. I'll do one followed by another and they might overlap slightly, whatever. But it's gotta be like halfway like that you see, and the legs, it's not perfect but I'm just doing it like that, you know, so the legs are about halfway and the arms will be here, you see. Another way is like doing it like this um, and doing it like squares. This is one way I'll do it. I'll just show you a few different ones okay, while I'm here. They're so simple. They're facing on the front, as I say. Just imagining that the spine's down the middle inside. As I say, we've got a shoulder. Like usually you'd have like a, sh a hip line and a shoulder line. You can imagine those, okay? I'll just imagine those as I go. And imagine that they're spheres, not just um, circles, okay? Um, yeah, and um, sometimes I'll do it like this. So the arms are on the sides, as I say. Um, Sometimes I'll do it like uh, the head's like here, and um, I'll do like a shape. I may or may I may or may not put the neck in, but I'll indicate that there's some kind of line there, scribble. And um, what I'll do is I'll do like um, a body was kind of like curvy that goes down like that, and it'll either go flat across, or I'll emphasise the the point part in the middle with the groin. <laughs> So there's like a line down the middle of the body, imagine. And what I'm doing with this basically is I'm just making it like one shape. I could do it like this, I could just do it like um, um, one like kind of long rounded sort of shape like that you see. But I like to give myself the understanding where there's a bit of a bend in the middle when it comes back out to the hips. Now if you was doing a woman character you'd do it even more like curvy and stuff okay but I'm just I'm not doing that now and then what you do is for the legs again imagining that you've got this shoulder line and hip line just imagining that there and don't forget for all of these really you're imagining that well, I'm imagining that it's split kind of in the middle so when the body bends and stuff you know you've got all these different positions but what I'm saying is is like really in your mind you must understand you've got the neck there at the chest, or let's just say the um, rib cage, you know, and the gut part, and then also the groin area. You see, so it's like three different parts, you know, really. And I, I know that in my mind, you know, I've got this neck here, see, and the chest, and six pack goes in there, whatever, you know, and all that, you see. Now, I'm just, but I just do it like a shape and I just imagine and I know where it is if I, if I do do it this way. Now I do the legs like this, just coming down. 
um, you can start in the middle if you wanted to like that and then because you're going to draw on it anyway and draw on top so but what I'm saying for me I like to just still follow like the hip line where they start so like doing there and you just uh, you just do it anyway so you do that anyway so it's the same really when, when you do draw over these because you won't leave the arms and legs to be sticked really you know now you may or may not see this but I'm actually I'm aware where the points are where the knees are you see I'm not drawing them in but I know that there's points for the knees and the elbows the hands fall about where the groin height is anyway that's where how long the arm should be you could draw little circles here to show the shoulders if it was a really muscly character you'd do like big big strong shoulders with strong arms you know but I don't always do it I'm just keeping these really simple you know um, another one you can uh, do is as I say I've done this before doing a circle like this is this is my ways okay um, let me show you uh, you know you can do it any you can do a square you can do a diamond different kind of shapes whatever you want to do the basic thing is what you'll be, do, be changing it later to do a proper head of a chin like that you know it goes in with the, the you can put like, a cross on the front to show the lines at like the center of the face the nose line and the eye line there I'll work all the details in but we're just doing a basic um, basic circle like a rough circle shape here little line here to show the neck and what I'll do is sometimes I'll do it this way I'll um, make it almost like a triangle so like this I've shown you before and I'll do one and then I'll do another one that overlaps it sort of thing like that pointing up and then rather than go straight across which I can do I'll go a little bit pointing down, so that's more like a upside down. So it's like like a diamond almost. That's what I'll say, but not too pointy with this point. I can just make it like a point that goes across, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. There, and um, that diamond part in the middle is not very important. However, um, it, this this part, but however, it does kind of it does help you understand too, because there's like a rib cage part that goes like this anyway in a real figure. Um, but this is not the idea, okay? It's just a basic thing. Also, if you feel it's going too far in, I mean, if it's a male character, sometimes for a male the shoulders are wider than the hips, but for a female character, you'd usually have it like wider for the hips, right? It curl curves in more. There, okay. Um, the body but what I'm trying to say is you see how I've done these two triangles I mean you could do them like very in like this see like work that work, work the sizes as well different sizes or you could do it like this like like you know like a shape you could even do it like a square if you wanted to but you can see how I've done that with this one if you look at it it's kind of like shaped like that I'm just imagining where there's a line that splits them in the middle of it but that's basically what I'm talking about you see whether it overlaps or not this is basically what we've got see and I just emphasize that with the you know the shoulders being kind of rounded there anyway see so that's basically what we've got here see so let's just get rid of that um, now this one you may notice as well this last one here you, uh, we've done you can do lines like this and join them up a little bit too and the funny thing is, see, I'm trying to make it very, very simple. I don't really want to have all this detail. See, one problem I had with this one was this. I wanted to um, make it like when I turn him in different positions, he's not he's not flat like a piece of paper, is he? You know, like that. <laughs> you know, okay. But when I do the legs and stuff and the arms, you know. So I thought, okay, what am I going to do? I have to make it like he's like a flat. Like a two pieces of chocolate or something like a bit of 3D, you know. But they're not cubes, they're not balls. And then the problem you get is like when you work, you have to try to imagine some kind of 3D. And the problem is the same thing which I have like the one, the ones I use mainly. I use all of these, but one is like this one here on the left. Okay, this this one is a common one I like to use. I like to do this. I'll do um, you know. If I'm doing a position this so I might draw the neck, I might not. I'll just work it in when I do my proper characters. You draw over these, as I've said. These are just basic start-off points. But I'll do like that. I might overlap, I might not, but 
See, I'll do, I'll do the positions. I'm imagining the spine is curving, see there. Imagining where the hip line is and the shoulder line is, you see. And then there, so let's imagine he's just swinging on a rope or something. <laughs> let's imagine this knee's coming here, okay, maybe. Something like that, you know. And I have to imagine, see, that these are round points. So let me just show you again. Uh, let's let's get rid of all of that. Now, they're not always they may be tilted and stuff, see, but they're not always going to be like, you know, like like that, right? They're not always gonna, <laughs> they're not always going to be um, flat across like that. Sometimes you're going to have a point. Let me just do it in red, just quickly to show you. It is a sphere. The shoulder might be here. Well, the shoulder may, or the hip might be here, you know, or the, say here, which means the other one, a bit, a bit smaller, is on the other side, and we can't really see it, see, it's behind this, see, the line is like there, see, in a 3D type of thing, the neck goes in, the spine's in a very strange angle here, I know, and I'd imagine, see, the legs here, so when I do the line, the leg's got to be here, and this leg will be on the other side, you see. And obviously the body, really, the body is not, they are not, uh, I'll do the stick lines first, of course. But the body would not really be uh, balls, made of balls, would they? <laughs> you know. Another thing I'd like to mention, okay, like you see, when I'm, when I'm drawing this, um, I like to usually like regardless of how I do the character even if I draw um, even if I draw a character like this um, just uh, I just do a head and a body like that I sometimes I do that just like a, a curvy body give it you know understand it is uh, like that. <laughs> kind of looks weird right if I do the, you know the legs see I understand that this is split in the middle I understand kind of like this or like this see, all of these I know that in my mind it's made up of two parts and uh, you know I put that there maybe this one's got a pain in his back he's like and a pain in his head <laughs> you know and then this one's here um, you know I was just saying, okay, like, so maybe I'll have, um, what I was going to say is, yeah, that's what I'm going to say, I, I don't always do it in detail, so I just do simple ones, but what I'm trying to say is, you understand where the centre of the body is, so, you've got, you know, like, the head, the body, and the, see, I'm splitting it in half, right, but let's just imagine it's three parts, I'll have, this will be the centre of the face, a line across the middle, I know the ear is about here in line. The front of the body might be here now, you see. I can do like a cross if I want to do a cross there. I don't have to because it doesn't make much sense. The shoulders are going to be here. The shoulders can be on this side now, you see. And this groin might be still facing this way, this side, this bottom half, let's say. And the hips here, see. And meaning the other hips here. And the other ones on the other side. And you could even draw like a circle to make it like emphasize shoulders if you wanted to, see. So I could do this, I could, you've got to imagine where the positions are, where the hands are and where the elbows are. So you see how I've done that elbow there, see? If the elbow was like further away, let's imagine the elbow is, let's imagine his hand is on his hip. So sometimes I'll draw the hand first to know where the rest of the arm goes, that's what I'm trying to say. So this arm could be back there, and we can't see much, right? Because the elbow is turned away from us. So it looks like a, sh a shorter broken line, but it's not, see. So I could do this here, see. See. Or I could do uh, this here, see. Now you can see. So this is different to this, see. It is different to this. It's like, see, like even across the body now. Uh, and getting all the whole range, you see. If you can understand what I'm saying. And um, let's go back to what I was saying though, so you've got this shoulder, this, uh, hips line and um, shoulder line, okay, so I'll put the leg here, see, sometimes I'll just do a wavy line, but sometimes I'll just do like, I have to understand where the point is going to be, 
Sometimes I'll draw the foot first, or the knee first, or the elbow first, or the hand first. You know, but so let's just see. Okay, so remembering, as I say, the main thing, like the legs are like halfway up the body, sort of thing. You see, half of that. So that the hips, sorry, the hips are about here. See. Okay, um, yeah. So you you got these um, lines. You see how this is a uh, here here or maybe like he's looking up or he's looking maybe down over here so you've got these targets and maybe this one here is like over here see so there and he's like uh, here with his hands on the other side and you know he's holding a gun or whatever it is you know this is the thing and you can like imagine certain things like maybe holding a key or something for a door you can imagine or something like that so you've got different things you to imagine and it's not just flat side by side, it's more like, um, it's more basically like, uh, you know, um, it, it's like any angle to 3D, so you have to imagine in 3D in different positions as well, you know. So, um, yeah, um, two things before we move on. Um, when, I, when I do these uh, characters, okay, you got to keep in mind a couple of things, different body types, heights as well, and different things like that. Um, drawing the hands, not to know the position. So let's say I may start off with a pose, like let's say I might do like a circle for the head and then do some crazy line. And then I can work with any of these kind of shapes, you know, and just bend it and change it. So I might want to do the two balls, why well, I never want to do that one, it depends. It's imagining, sometimes you get so used to doing the lines for the um, the positions I'm in, so you don't really need to worry about where the uh, shoulder line is going to go. Sometimes you don't even know where the lines are uh, going to go, like where the shoulders are going to go. Let me give you an example, okay? Me drawing the body like this, see, that like, rather than just doing like a sausage like that, I know, so I'm imagining already, like I'm, when I do that line across here, immediately I'm thinking about the shoulders. See? So if that's here, I can do the hands up here, see? Or I can do... This could be here, this could be facing down. But I'm just saying, look at that slender man there. <laughs> this line I've done a curvy all the way down to the ground, it doesn't make much sense. But you see, I'm splitting the body into two, rather than three, but we understand it. And um, I might, you know, to, to understand where things are, I'll do that. So let's imagine there's a table here, like a ghost. <laughs> I'll do like a, something on the table, a cup of tea or something, okay. And this is how I put the hand, it's got a little rough hand, he's about to pick it up. I don't know why he's going to hold it like that. but So I know that the arm's going to be leading back up to here, right? And I know that, okay, I want to have the elbow bent a bit. And how long or short those lines are going to be is, is also going to be keeping in mind the um, perspective too. Like, it's not to say that this this part here of the hand is of the arm is like shorter than this part necessarily but it's just because of the perspective that like it's facing more towards us you know see his arm here and then this and a bit a big hand see that's closer to us you see that's why but if this was a uh, stretched out further away it might be it might be longer you see see so I know you're just, just explaining roughly to you here. This hand is going to have this hand hanging down there, and the and this is not a leg, is it? This line I've just done this line connecting to the floor to remind myself where this middle line is going to be. If the legs are bending more, really the hip line should be lower. So I was going to do a, a leg here just to kind of make sense. Uh, he's bending both legs for some damn reason. I don't know why. And there you go. And what you do is you would erase that middle middle line. As I say, you don't need to keep that middle line. But what I do is I'll draw on top of it, you know. And uh, I draw on top of it. Yeah. And you have to understand, see, where that line is going to be. So I've got this centre line down the middle. I'm going to have to imagine to this middle line here. And it goes right down to the middle where the groin is going to be. So when I turn that faint and I start going on top like that, I start to do my proper characters this is like not a proper one I'm just doing a rough thing just to show you I use the basic uh, uh, um, shape of it all see 
obviously it's not proper I'm just doing a roughing but you can see how the guide how it works see just do a couple of uh, some shorts here okay you see and this is what I've learned basically so I've learned to follow through like that so it's not perfect but it's like you can definitely do a lot by using these kind of guides I think it's very very helpful very useful um, I can't show you everything in this video There's a, lot, a lot of things I'd love to show you and that I'm working on but I can't make it a very long video okay but um, I'm going to show you a few more things tonight just quickly um, okay thank you for watching and then what I'm going to show you here is uh, so here sometimes I will um, so I do the hand first as I said like I drew the hand wherever it's going to be and then I connect it up with the uh, body so let's go back to our standing people they look like they're waiting for a bus at a bus stop <laughs> here um, what I do is I do certain things let me show you an example of um, a character that I might do sitting now if I do a character here obviously the um, he's going to be lower right let's, let's even give him a chair I can give him a chair that makes sense right give him a little seat a little bench or something we'll make it fairly low as well like a, a bench right so that's the here very make it very faint so we can see what we're doing okay and I'm just going to draw this character in here okay uh, make another layer make another layer just to show you what I would do is when I have my character I see I really you'd want to work out where the body's going to be so I'm going to draw it as though we've got that there I, don't, I may not necessarily start with I'm going to do a rounded kind of shape because it's the back side basically splitting his body into two halves the character's sitting down right so I might, I might do the head first but then you've got to work out how far you've got to go down to that it's up to you what you're doing and what I would do is I'll show you um, I'll show you okay I would start with the knees first so I'll choose a point, I'll use red just for now, I'd imagine okay where the knees going to be about here okay hold on uh, well you can't really see that, let's go for a darker well I think I'll still, hang on I'll go on another layer still okay so I'll do the knee here you see and the knee here if it's a woman I'll put the knees more closer together but anyway uh, it can't be too low it, uh, if, it, if it was any lower like here then the feet that means the legs are more straightened out and the feet are like coming towards us like he's got his legs straight out in front of him on the ground but because his like feet are kind of still straight so the, the shins are going to be facing down right like this you see and out so it could be either way it could be like this just slightly you know and then for the feet I'll just do a little line out like that or a little shape to start and then what I'll do is I'll imagine where the hands are so let me just use a, a blue just quickly I'll put a little shape over the top of the knees and then I'll you know do the lines down you imagine it's halfway and you think ah I have to do this line here now the second part of the arm and it's going to be a bit shorter so you bend it it's not shorter it's because of the perspective and by the way another problem is um, the, the way I did that because that's okay but you've got to imagine what the, the legs are rounded you know rounded so let me show you again it's at the thighs you see that there are thighs there so what I might do is I might do like some muscle just to show that see for the thighs because we can't see them they're like going back up the shins obviously the muscle goes down and all the rest of it you know like that and the, and the muscles there you know but I'm talking about the actual thighs part you know they're not bones as such but you get the idea so but yeah let's go back to what we had if it would allow us to take me back to what we just had there no it won't okay so let's just do that again so drawing two hands in these have got to be the right length because they're facing straight down then then the rest is going to be closer see um, and that's basically that now drawing this guy from another angle now 
Let me show you what I mean. If I draw this guy from another angle just really quickly, um, here, just do, we'll just do a little bench like, let's imagine it's a little bench, okay, and he's, and we're looking down on him. Not being mean, but just looking down on the guy, right? So we're going to put this down here like this. You can see that, right, just about there. I'm going to draw the same thing, but we're kind of looking down. And I'll show you something, okay? I'm going to do. I'm going to do this again. Let's imagine that we're drawing our our famous spheres. Now they're not really spheres. When you draw the real character, you're shaping. You're just using it as a basic guide. They're not spheres, really, are they? The body is not made of round spheres like them. Not even the head isn't. I'll do one here for the lower part, the backside. Then one here for the top of the body. We're looking straight down. Don't forget. So. I'm Imagine we're just looking down. It's like a snowman, almost like a snowman. You see, and a small one on top of for the head, on top of the head there. So you get one on top of two big ones. <laughs> you know. Uh, now, so you're not, you wouldn't even really see that much of it. Let's say per, per se, of the uh, the bottom one there. He's just literally. He's just like you know. He's just literally on top. I'm just showing a little bit there. One on top of the other, okay? One on top of the other. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a red one to show you the legs. Now, in the previous one I showed you, we couldn't see the thighs because we were looking straight at him and they were coming towards us. But in this one, we're going to see the tops of the thighs there, you see? And, you know, we'll use blue again for the arms in a moment. Light blue or something. But now let's see the, the legs. We're going to have to do a little, following the lines of the perspective, we're going to do two little shorter lines going down. Because they're not just so long, like going through the floor, are they? But it's like that. Now, um, if I wanted to, and then what I'll do is I'll do the feet like that, you see. Uh, and then with the arms, I'll do it like this. I'll do like, you know, straight down, short little lines like that, if you can see. And then I might do longer ones on top there, and the hands on front, holding it, holding his uh, thighs like that. You see, you can barely see that. I hope you can see that. Um, now, let me show you something else with the legs. Just really clear the legs, okay? Like I was saying, if I stop, if I had the legs further out now, like this. Uh, hold on, on the long uh, layer here. If I had it like that, I'll just leave a gap to let you understand there the knees. Here you can see the legs are much, the longer they are, the straighter they are basically. So I'm going to have them slightly longer than, slightly shorter than these ones, but longer. Meaning the feet, that let's say his heels are touching the floor now and he's got his toes pointed up towards us. Let's just imagine. Okay, so the, the, the knees are slightly bent, you can imagine. Yeah, okay. Uh, he, he could have his hands out either side, like here, maybe let's say. This, Holding on the the size of the uh, the chair, there you know, different things, you know. And um, the ultimate thing here is I'm not going to try to touch his arm. Oh, get rid of the arms as well, just quickly. I'm just kind of messing it up a little bit here, but let me just show you quickly. Um, what I can do is I can also um, do different things. Like you can have his arms, legs crossed like that, you know. Play around with these like wavy lines, like noodles, or like these, uh, you know, these um, different positions. So I could have one leg here, just like just say, just like straight down like that, more or less, and the other leg could be like this. You know, sometimes you see people resting their feet on the other leg like that. You know, maybe one, maybe his arms are resting on the back of this chair there. You see, like that, maybe. Okay, you know. And as I say, if it was a woman, you'd do the body a bit different, the shape curvy that like I've uh, mentioned earlier on. But you could have like the legs like more together like that, you know, if you wanted to, or even have the legs crossed, as I say. So you could have like one like that if you wanted to as well. That's another one you could do. But I'm not, I'm not doing that now. But, you know. So it's different things you can do for the position. Now, let's have a look. Okay, so going in, zooming in here. Um, let's get back to what we were doing. So I'll show you some more. Um, so yeah, in that example, I was just showing you basically how 
Uh, some perspective, yes, but I was showing you from those two sitting, sitting examples where uh, mentioning um, also where you can like, start from not only the hands but also starting from the knees or the elbows and feet. It depends on where you want to start. So if I've got a character like this here and you can see these two lines, I know that this is a knee. I'm starting from the knee and finishing with the foot, let's say. I might start with a hand, and that's a hand, you see. Let's imagine we do the body in here. See, so I understand that um, the knee, the, you know, the, the rest of the thigh is coming up to here. This is coming down here, the shin. Okay, that's like that. This is this is basically that. See, the shin, the foot. It's been a basic shape for the foot there. The, we can't really see that thigh too well from the position. Is that? You see, this hand might be here. Okay, but then I'll work it up. See, so where it's going to be? I'll just do. I might start from the shoulder and work it up, or I might start from the. Um, might start from the uh, hand or the elbow or whatever I just feel I like to do that I like to do put the hand and then work where the rest of it's going to go I'll do the hand then the top part of the arm usually and then imagine and see how it connects up I'll just work out however I can what it's going to be see if I'll do a head you know I might do the the clothes or whatever it's going to be on there depends you know, just start changing things up as we go. Fix it as you go. You may not be happy with your shapes and stuff, you see. You know. You just gradually, gradually work it as you go. So that's the top of the knee there, yeah. So we should be seeing a bit of the top of the thigh there, you see. And this is how I'm basically learning about what I'm doing as well, you see, here. So let me just move that across quickly. You see, this is exactly what we're doing basically that's what I'm doing anyway oh, damn it so let's go back uh, to the uh, to the team yo to, to the thing uh, I'm gonna show you another thing just now quickly with characters uh, what you can do uh, I may do a another kind of one there's different ones I do quite a few I might do like this um, Hold on, a kind of a shape here. I'll, I'll do the head, okay. And then, uh, oh no, oh yeah, like this. I'll do a bit of a neck like this, and then I'll start to do the body like I've already been doing it, like a kind of curve in there and this. And rather than do the stick lines for anything, like the arms or whatever, arms or legs. What I'll do is I'll start to do these curvy um, shapes, like these, like almost like sausage shapes. See, like this, like this. Um, I think I'd be better to do this in red to show you. Really, use a red quickly. Another layer. Um, okay. So what I'll do is I'll do like um, I may. I may or may not do a, a circle for the shoulders, you know, could do them for the hips if you really wanted to as well. But what I'll do is I'll just start to do shapes. So let's just, oh, I might do like that. I call them tapered sausages, I call them. <laughs> so you could break that up, you can make it like the shoulder part and then the bicep. Like, almost like drawing muscles, you see. But I'm just saying, I'll, I'll do like a basic shape. It's not the best way, it's not that everybody does this, but. I'm doing it, okay, halfway, then what I'll do is I'll do another one, I might make them points or whatever they're going to be, I'll just do these kind of shapes, you see, that join up, I'll just do these shapes like that, and the same for the legs, I'll just do like points like this, see, like halfway, uh, and then here, slightly in on the inside, and slightly out on the outside here for the lower parts, you know, and then from here I'll just put, put some simple feet in, you know, and this is not perfect. I mean, you may want to work the shapes of the muscles much better, even you see. But I do do that. I do do that sometimes. You know, I do do that. And it's it's not very difficult then to go on top and start um, doing more detail. You see, like doing more muscles and stuff. See, 
because it like gives you something to work with. So I'm not doing the best anatomy, as I say, I'm not so great at anatomy, but you get the idea, though. See, and I can do all my stuff there. See, doing all the muscles or whatever it's going to be. I know this is not the best. <laughs> You know, but you get the idea. I could, if I wanted to, I could do all that detail in there on top. And um, why is this useful? Um, it can be useful for a lot of different things. Um, there's a couple of different ways you can work with that too. I mean, you can imagine things like when you do a body, you can imagine it as pieces, as I've said already. I can imagine these as like and silhouette. Um, I mean, I mean, not silhouettes. I mean, cylinders. I can have cylinders. I could just do lines joining them as well if I want to do that. Doing with cylinders and uh, things or, or or cubes and spheres, you can do all kinds of things. I could have like a cube, see for the body like that, a sphere for the head. Again, these uh, you know these um, old cylinders. You can do like balls for the joints if you wanted to here, and you can like, kind of shape them and curve them to be like muscles too. You can do those kind of things. It can get kind of rough and messy though if you don't do like a rough scribble down or a rough like stick figure sizing at least to start off I'd say but what I was going to say is um, you can do things like this you can do like a, a head and I might just do a curvy body like this I might even just do like a line going down to the ground it almost looks like a dress or a, or a ghost or you know so but then I'll work out where the legs go later on but that's just a guide I might, just just like I did that straight line down to the ground if you remember like an action line before what I'm saying is, is I might decide to go in with like just these curvy, just lines uh, su suggesting like tapered off, pointy sausages. You see, I might do another one here. Okay, um, maybe one like that. You see, and I just raise that middle part. You see, and I do things like that sometimes too. So you're working with these kind of uh, shapes to show. You know, um, certain shapes. See, see. So I, I do that sometimes, or I may want to go in and do the actual shapes, as I've said, like doing that. Bit of a neck there, and then go in and go like these tapered off parts. You see, they're not always pointed. They might be like flat. See there, it might be like that. You can do like tri like tapered off triangles and stuff with the hand on the end, or you can do it like uh, as I've just done there with like uh, so we're just imagining basically there's a there's a muscle here and the rest of the arm, you know. But, but I'm just doing it rough, see. So you just like you do that there shape, and then you overlap it and do another like one like that hand and then do some simple fingers you can make them in 3d later on understanding that there is a shoulder here is in understanding that you don't always have to draw it you don't have to draw it right there I understand this is going back behind here the body's not a perfect shape either so you may need to like change it as you go my one here's not a perfect shape so I'll do that and then I'll, I'll understand where the hand is so let's imagine that the hand is somewhere low down here and he's holding a gun okay Make it something cool, yeah. So let's imagine he's holding a gun. Or let's imagine he's got a his hand on his sword. He's got like a katana sword or something here. And it's in his sheath, let's say. Maybe on the other side would be good. It depends. And the hand we can't really see the hand because it's going back behind here. So that's taken away part of the whole point of it. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Um, you see, and then from here, it's a case of understanding where the hips go because we need we need this to be halfway. Don't forget, from here to here. See, so this is this, and then what I would do is, I mean, even this one could be holding, he could be holding another weapon or something. He could be holding a gun, maybe it could be, you know, could be something really cool. But I'm just going to do that. Um, I might put a bit more there for the groin if I really feel it's not long enough, like the body shape. You see, but. The idea is to like work that out in the beginning, see, so this is here, I must understand the rib cage must be a bit higher than about here maybe, it goes up if I want to do that in. If you feel the need to draw these extra parts, you might want to do that. Uh, I may then from here, if I don't know how to do it, I may want to just do stick lines first, see, 
work out where the knees are going to be and then the ground so the problem is the, I've made him that he, he's uh, very low down so I need to bend his knees to, to the ground it must be because um, you know I have to think about the position in that see so for here this is a long part this next one's going to be a shorter one but that's because it's further away that leg further away from us if this one was longer see here and then here be closer but another thing you can do obviously in digital software is um, you know size thing which is great the size or move them which is very very useful in the software this is to do with the sizing I've done you may want to work with perspective as well and stuff I to choose we choose the line there the um, yeah anyway let's go with our tapered sausages and stuff though <laughs> even the body is still that one shape really it should be we're going to go with the um, legs now so let's go I'm going to go with a, the thigh part kind of go with like a point part kind of goes in on the back again and then out on top of the muscles and then here you see the knees a bit like that uh, I'm going to go with these like shapes I'm not very good at it as I say, I'm just trying to work it out myself a lot of times. So that's there. Got to really try and change it sometimes to like understand where the knee is going to go. Ah, it's not easy, it's not easy. And then, and then, ah, oh, very, very important, understand where the heel is going to be. The heel is touching the ground, it's got to be touching the ground. Sometimes, you, that's what I'm saying, like, if, like we said with that hand on the teacup, the hand I drew on the teacup, you may want to have the heels on the floor and make sure and then work your way up if you want to do it like that. You can also do it that way as well, to make sure you've got your feet on the ground, you know. So I'm doing this kind of triangle shape here, but the feet are kind of turned out, so I'm putting this extra part on here as well, you see. And I'm not very good at drawing feet, as I say, but, you know, as I say, this is here, so you get this here. And that's basically, it's not very good, but you've got the idea here. So, we're, he's kind of in a pose as well, obviously, but that's basically working from that red one we got there, basically, is what we're doing. And it's very, very rough, I know. But you've got to remember the curves of the move, and also, like, the muscles, like, the back kind of curves a bit as well, you may want to change things a bit too, like here, like here, you, you might want to have like, you know, understand what, like the muscle there, see, and that's about there really, see, here, I'm just putting a bit of that skeleton in to under, understand where it all is, you know, and this as well, how much is seen from that angle. The sword, as I say, we've not done the sword, have we? <laughs> but then what I'd do is I would, um, you know, I'd, I'd draw on top of that. I'd bring it like that, and I'd draw some epic character. I'm not going to do it now, but who am I kidding? Hold on, <laughs> you know, and I, I'd do a character. You know, I'd, I'd draw it up. And I'd do some badass character. You know, boom. <laughs> And I do this guy there to be so strong, or whatever, you know. <laughs> I do it in some way. I might, I might have like baggy clothes and stuff, it depends what you're gonna have, you know. I'm just doing it really rough, okay. This is again really rough here. he's got his sword there <laughs> see, and I'm, I'm gonna do a pair of like baggy trousers see when you do these baggy trousers it's just cool because you can do all these baggy things I like the I like these boots they wear sometimes you see the monks like that the big boots you know I love all that really really cool shaping it a bit better there you see and then you can just work it all out you know I'm not doing a proper one very good here, but I'm just showing you, see, and then working the hair around the head, as I say. Could have done um, a headband or something, but it's really rough. I know it's not very good. Put your headband in, or whatever you want to have, you know. 
And there he is. <laughs> kind of coming to mess up fools, you know what I mean? I mess up my fucking, excuse my language. <laughs> you know. And then I just put a bit of a body. So you can do little sketches like this as practice and then save them. That's what I like to do, you know. I, I, I do rough ones and I, and I, um, I keep them. Oh, I've not finished, have I? I've not finished drawing that sword. That's easy to do, though. Put a line at the back there. I'll put some black lines in a moment. I'm going to stop this video very soon. But you can see how we can work some basic practice ones in. And what you can do is you can uh, do some uh, more detail when you want to. You know, you can do some. What I like to do is um. Make a duplicate of that one, make a duplicate of that colour layer, it's below the uh, this uh, layer as I say. And I'll, um, the colours are below the line layer, the line art layer. As I say, um, you know. And um, give him a pair of gloves and Okay, and then, you know, do things like that. I may want to uh, go with some different things, let me see, hang on. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to say like I might go with some uh, different colours when I do, but it's just it's good to keep these as a reference. That's what I do. I keep them for a reference so I know what I did before and I can remember. So I might bring the line art slightly down in colour. I might want to keep it really strong. Depends. Merge that down there with that, make a duplicate of that. Boom. So you don't keep the actual scribble what we started with, you know. Making a duplicate of that layer, now I'm just, it's not darker, making it darker, and you're raising the dark layer to show the light below, the lighter layer, you see. Understanding the 3D ness of everything, the muscles, the clothes, everything, where the light's coming from, you know, and where it would hit and where it wouldn't hit, what's in the shade, you know, and then doing all that. So then that, that gives you your badass motherfucker. Excuse my language. <laughs> Moves that up. Uh, you might want to do something like clean up that line art. Obviously, that line art's really, really messy there. Very messy. And it wouldn't do me justice to be erasing things like this, really, see, because I'm taking away some of the character and erasing stuff. But it's like, you know, you do that, you clean it up when you're doing it, you know, you do a, that's why a lot of people do a rough sketch one and then they'll do a proper art on top of it, you know. So again, you might not be happy with the size of it, so what I'd do is I'd, I'd uh, bring it down, you know, to the size I need, like the size in the scene, you know, here. And you can see our character here that we have. This one is what it is, okay. Why the yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> and that's that, you know, basically. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick uh, a screenshot and then we're going to do some other stuff just quickly. Well, no, I think what we'll do is we're going to finish in a moment. We're going to finish this video. So before we finish, I'm just going to show you very, very quickly two little things, very quickly. And I'll do some more videos for you when I can, okay? Uh, one, we don't have much room here for that ground line. Put, make it a bit longer freehand, it's okay. Uh, what I would do is sometimes, okay, I will do um, just a, um, like, uh, when you think about this, uh, I would do yeah, a scribble, like uh, literally I would do a, a lot of some lines like that, that a rough scribble, okay, or, or I would do, um, or I would do, uh, like I would do the head first, and then I'll do like, um, see, you see how I'm taking the brush off and on the pen of, of the screen. I'll take it off, tap, and then do a few lines, wavy across and then up and down, some big, some small, all the way down. See, and that just kind of gives me some information to work with. I may make them wavy, zigzaggy, it just depends on how you feel. I may do some, I might do kinds of shapes, boom, boom, boom. See, I might just do like a stuff. It maybe it's a couple like that. It's a couple, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe just like uh, here. And then we may want to put one over here, one over here. It may even end up like a few. Crazy lines like that, all over the place. 
and then what I'll do is I'll make that and I will look at that and I'll, and I'll try to work but usually I do that if I'm doing uh, if I'm doing a, a certain pose I want to do I'll be looking there see for where I can see an arm or something or even a style like this one's obviously an arm so I could go with any of the styles I just showed you above see I might do that I might make it that. okay his body's on this side clearly okay and the characters are there. I might still got to go with that basic thing that the body's split in two. Imagine it. got a, maybe a, a leg here walking. I can see, see, and then this leg is here, and then I can see that. And, I, and that's what I'm seeing when I look at it. I can see that. You see when I'm looking at the, at the picture, basically, you know. So basically, that's what I'm seeing. You know what I mean? And then, <laughs> um. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, make that a bit transparent so you can see what I've done uh, over a random scribble. I'm going to basically merge everything just really quickly and just tell you that last thing that I wanted to tell you a moment ago. Uh, I'm going to shrink this a bit smaller just for one second because I need to do one more. I have to do one more. I'm going to go here and choose the colour. Ah, oh, shit, hold on. Choose the colour. Choose the colour. Go on another layer. Make another layer. Sugar, hold on. Move it below. Get that grey back. Boom, boom. Go in. Ah, go there, bang. Little line. A bit more ground for us, okay. And then what I'm going to do is show you the last one. The last one is like this. Or for this video anyway, is um, a literal silhouette. So it's the same as what we just had, like a random scribble from which you then work your stick figure or go directly into drawing a character. Same thing. But what you do is you will um, do a silhouette. So I'll do a crazy silhouette, still scribbling but using a, th a thick brush, and just like that, and trying not to have gaps and stuff you may want to put a head kind of shape in around or you may have all kinds and you do that it looks just like some kind of alien I don't know but I'll do that I may turn it slightly lower you know it may be still a scribble even see that I'm still it's, there's not much difference really you know but it depends how you work it I can't explain it I can't explain it's very hard to explain there's like, like, I can see shapes there, see, and things. I can I can see shapes there. I'm working with all these different shapes and stuff now, see. Um, I can see there, that's the back of the arm, the head's here. I can see this. Another reason I, I'm seeing all these fighting moves and things is because I understand, you know, martial arts. I've been learning martial arts for many years, so I understand a lot of the moves so if you if you never learn that you may not be able to see them the same see I'm, I'm looking at this guy and I understand that's like real martial art he's punching towards us see and I'm seeing the uh, position okay so that's that there um, but yeah the idea basically is just like like that you know um, that's there's not much different from what we just had though really so let's just go on to that. That's a pretty good one, but just finish by showing you this. So what I would do is I may use this brush. Oh, let me show you. This is a good example, good chance for me to show you using a different brush. I may use a brush like this, you know, like a really fun, cool brush like that. You see, and you can get some good silhouette type shapes. So I'll go in there like that. It gives you like broad strokes and and thin strokes. See, working it all the way down. You see. This is when I do these kind of scribbles or silhouettes though, the real thing is like usually the reason is because I'm looking for some kind of random pose and I've got no idea and it's it but it's it's not just like that, it's like it's better to plan but the sometimes but the thing is like it gives you practice. It helps you to practice learning to see the these shapes, these body shapes in various poses. That's basically what it is. You know. So let me just do one very quickly here. I'm, I'm basically working with the same kind of shapes we've had, like all these pieces and stuff. So the, doing this hunched back here, I'm just 
just doing these random shapes you see boom boom okay let me see I'm just trying to see shapes in it see so I'm putting a leg here um, I don't even know if that's right for me to do that or not I don't think it's right just I'm gonna put that one here maybe okay boom 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 like that okay that probably we'll see put that there it's not perfect as I said the position wise but you can always edit them uh, adjust the position as I say with the 3d which is good you see I'm not very good at doing perspective so I'm just trying to find all these different ways you know uh, this leg I still think this leg should also be bent like that kind of cheating you might say but you know Maybe and uh, another important thing when you're doing these scribbles, when you're working from scribbles, drawing on top or another layer, as I say, like we're doing, or like um, silhouettes. When you do this, okay, remember how the feet are on the ground as well. When you when you do this kind of stuff, always remember to give them enough space. And always remember, um, uh, like uh, you can draw, yeah. Um, you don't have to just use the silhouette like for example there's no arm here but I may want to I might want to put arms here you see I might want to put the arms up I might want to I like the position let's say right you know what I mean so I think I'll do that in this just to show you so I'll put one arm here we just have a couple of shapes going just draw a rough arm down there see I'm just doing it because it just makes sense let's see so here Tapering that off there. And you've got to have some practice, obviously, of the uh, of like anatomy. That's what I've been like, studying a lot of anatomy books and stuff too. So I'm even giving him some style, doing a hat and some. So I'm not putting a jacket on him or whatever you want to have, you know. Um, kind of like making him almost look like a character there, you see. And then what I would do is, you know, if I was happy with that, usually what I would do is I'd go below it and start doing some colour like, like this one. I'll do that usually, you know. Um, I may even add a slight blur to that as well and, and more detail, you know. But I'm going to keep this like this just to, to keep it as a thing to show. I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video, okay. We've not gone into a lot of detail in drawing characters. We've not gone over a lot of things as well, like... Um, perspective um, and stuff like that more you know but I've covered quite a few things here yeah and I think there's quite a lot of things here in this particular video you know and I want to say thank you for watching put that silhouette a bit fainter uh, shrink that and we'll just save it as an image okay and uh yeah, pretty surprised really. The, the actual the thing didn't slow down, and we didn't have any trouble or anything so far. I'm going to upload this video, okay, for you guys. I want to say thank you very much for watching. We just wait for this to save. We just check it's saved, okay? And I've got to practice like doing different body types as well as I say and things like that, you know. So got all these different ones, and as I said, they're all male characters. I didn't draw any women as such in this as such. This one looks a bit like a woman. <laughs> it's like, you know, um, you just work with certain shapes, um, you know, uh, you can work those, do different body shapes. But cool or what? <laughs> it's the gang. Don't mess with the gang, yo. There they are, yo. <laughs> Maybe this guy with the gun wants to fight the guy with the sword, I don't know. There we go. That's all you do. <laughs> so using these basic shapes, as I say, you can um, get really creative. Just remember where your shoulder line is, your hip line. Um, look at the muscles of the body. Look at human figures. Practice drawing these overlay over photos, even like practice. Yeah, the spheres. The body's not really made of spheres or cubes or cylinders or these shapes, but you can just work with these. You know. Um, body split you can split the body like in two or like two halves so you do the spine remember you've got your center line down the middle of the body the guides for the faces remember like the bottoms of those legs where you see like here on these ones like the bottoms of the legs where they meet the ground or should do <laughs> that's where the heel is you gotta remember that's where the heel is unless they're standing on their toes obviously and then from there that just gives you a flat ground you understand the grounded 
and when the knees bend or one knee or both knee bends they're going to be going lower like the here you see so this guy's hip line is going to be lower than the others right should should be i mean the reason he's the same sort of size here is because i've just drawn him that way so if this guy was standing up straight he would be taller than everybody right this guy on the left here with the gun if he was standing up straight with his legs he would be taller than everybody here he's just because he's bending his knees that's why he's shorter you see um, mm, understand the twisting of the body the bending you know and uh, the basic skeleton structure imagine it's a skeleton work with it as I said the hands the, the knees or whatever it is you're drawing start from a point then work it back to the body understand where it connects to the shoulder to the, the foot whatever it is you know necks you know, put them in hands and feet you can do like really simple shapes as I say you know and uh, thank you very much for watching take care now take care everybody and for 2020 I'll say happy Chi Chinese New Year okay <laughs> 2020 it's the Chinese New Year actually it's gonna be um, so anybody celebrating that anyone yeah, happy New Year okay to you yeah, everybody. and happy New Year everybody anyway for 2020 to be a lot more videos on this channel and a lot of animation to come okay take care of yourself thanks a lot take care